Hey, what's good everyone? Seeing you here back in another video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a really cool banner on Android. So this time we're going to take a look at how to make a really cool mountain geometric banner on Android. So as, as you can see right over here, I'm using a brand new version of Photoshop Touch. So if you guys would like to get this version, I will leave a link in the description below. You can download this version for free. Okay, once you guys download it or get it, go ahead and just create on it a brand new blank document. So the resolution of this blank document have to be 25. 60 per 1440 which is a perfect resolution for this banner so make sure that you create it just like this and then you'll be having a blank project so now go ahead and press on this plus button right over here hit on photo layer and basically you need to download this folder that you are looking at so i did the create all of these backgrounds as you can see and then you need to add them each and every one of these background into the project so as you can see i did number them for you from one to six so you need to add each individual background into the banner so go ahead and add them and make sure every time you add your very own uh, background make sure that it is full sized or full screen in your project or otherwise this is not going to be working so make sure that you add it and i'll be right back when i'm done all right guys so as you can see right over here i am done with my ba background so for the next step you need to go ahead and add a banner template that I recently made. I will leave it down below if you guys would like to download it. You actually have to download it. So basically add it into your project and go ahead and make sure that it is full screened on your uh, on your actual banner just like this. So this is actually going to help you to create this banner. So you see this live spot right over here, the one that isn't colorated. So this is the spot that we are going to be working with. So we just go ahead and make sure that you are not touching the black or the red area of the template. So basically now I go ahead and just add your very own name into the center of this area right over here. So as you can see right over here, I have this uh, text right over here. I made it with font. So if you guys would like to get this uh, font, you will find it on my pack down in the description below. So now it's the time to add a really cool illusion that I planned from the beginning of this video. Basically, you see this layer right over here. This is the text layer. If you drag it down, as you can see, the text will look like that it is actually behind the mountain which makes the actual banner look really cool. Now you can actually decide which mountain you want it to be like above your text. For example, I want this mountain right over here to be below my actual text. So first thing, let me go ahead and just transform my text because I really hate this position. So I'm gonna ahead and just take it to the right right over here. I'm going to scale it up. And then you can actually take the text and just drag it above that mountain. And as you can see, it's actually between two mountains, this mountain right over here and the mountain that it is below it. And you can create your very own illusion. It's really amazing and I really actually like it. And now is the time to add your own social media. So on the pack that you will find this down below, you will find all of these logos. It's Facebook logos and the YouTube logo and like all the social media logos, you must find them right over here. For example, this is a YouTube logo. I can drag the layer up so it's going to be behind this mountain right over here. As you can see, it's really optional. It's about you guys, uh, like how you want it to be. So I actually like it like this. I love it behind this mountain. And you can actually rotate it and put it wherever the heck you want. For example, I want it to be right over here. So I did the same thing for Facebook, but I did actually put it behind this mountain because it adds that really cool illusion to my banner. And I really like it like this. As you can see, it looks really amazing and it depends on you how you guys would like it to be. And of course, you need to attach the name of your social media alongside with the logo of it, just like this. So the people will know what's your social media name. And here we go, guys. You can actually add more stuff into the banner. For example, you can add your very own logo behind one of these mountains. And you can just go ahead and be a whole lot creative and add your very own stuff into it. So this is the basics on how to make this really cool illusion. And I think it's a really different way to make a banner, which I really like. And I really hope that you guys are actually liking it. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, drop a like down below. I will appreciate it. And also, guys, check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed me already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace out.